Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're talking about Microsoft Hyper-V and we're basically doing a quick overview and kind of a beginner's tutorial. You know, what is it? How do you use it? How do you set up a virtual machine? That type of thing. Before we get started with that, if you're interested in your own copy of Windows 11 Pro so that you can have access to Hyper-V, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you have Windows 11 Pro installed on your computer, it's possible that you'll have to manually enable Hyper-V, and here's how you do that. So we'll click into the search button, and then we're going to type in features. We're looking for this in the control panel, turn Windows features on or off. And we can see I already have Hyper-V selected. If you don't, you'll need to actually go ahead and check that box and then press OK. And I believe it requires a restart. I've already done it, so the next step is to hit the Windows key again. We're just going to type in Hyper. And we have two things here. We have the Hyper-V Manager and we have a Hyper-V Quick Create. So we're gonna start with showing you the manager and then we'll show you how to use the Quick Create option. And we'll just click this to go ahead and run that. So as you can see, I have several virtual machines here. So in the main box here, it's gonna show me my virtual machines. Below that we have checkpoints or snapshots. These are backups that are actually stored on the VMs themselves. And then below that, it'll be your current or most recently running virtual machine will be displayed there. So the main settings that we're gonna look at are the virtual machine settings and then also the settings that you have while you're creating a virtual machine. So we'll click into the Hyper-V settings. Here is where we could change the storage for our virtual hard disks. Same thing with the configuration files. And then we have some other settings here for storage and other things, as well as some different options for the keyboard, mouse release, etc. So we have basic settings there. This is gonna basically apply to all of your VMs. Uh, we can cancel to get out of that. And then with a Windows Server selected, whichever one I have selected pops up in the box down here and we'll have specific settings for that. So towards the bottom, I have settings for this virtual machine such as connect, start, checkpoint, move, export, rename, or delete. All these settings are gonna be accessed here. We just have the virtual machine selected and then we have the according settings for it. So I'll start with connecting to this one and show you guys what that looks like. Pops up this menu in which we have to select start. And in this case, it is Windows Server 2019 that we're gonna run. And we'll press any key to boot. So it's gonna load the files and the operating system. And this is all based on how we have it configured from the actual manager itself. Now in this case, I'm having to install Windows Server 2019. And this is a process that it doesn't really need me for. Uh, we'll go with the desktop standard evaluation experience. And we'll go ahead and get that installed. And then I'll just show you guys what it looks like to actually be running a virtual machine while from your host computer using Hyper-V. Now, while that's installing, let me show you guys the quick create. So again, we saw that pop up here when we searched Hyper-V. Uh, we also can access it from right here. And this is a quick create setting to create a new VM. Now we can pick from some of the virtual environments that Hyper-V gives us, or we can select local installation source. If we click local installation source, it says we can install from an ISO image or a virtual hard disk VHD. So it gives us the options in which we can source the operating system. So for this, we're gonna go with a local installation source. Now in my folder here, I have a server evaluation edition of Windows Server 2019. Again, this is an installation media file ISO. I'll select that, and then we're gonna press create virtual machine. Okay, once you create it, we can go in and actually start editing the settings of it. Going through the list, we have hardware, firmware, security, memory, processor, and so on. So we'll start at the top. We can add different hardwares here. We can increase the storage available by adding um, virtual disks. And then firmware and security options, pretty basic here. Uh, with the memory here, we have an option for dynamically allocated memory, that's what this checkbox does. If we want a fixed amount of memory, we set that in the top box and uncheck this option. We can also change the memory weight. And then going down to the processor, we can change the number of virtual processors. And then again, these are all gonna have default controls, um, but we have the option to change different things in here. We have the SCSI controller and a network adapter setting as well. Below that, we have some different management settings such as checkpoints, integration services, etc. So all of the configuration and settings for your VMs are gonna be done through this menu. If everything looks good, you'll press okay, and then you can connect. And we'll press start. 
And then again, this brings us back to where we were uh, at the beginning here. It's gonna load and then we'll be prompted to install server 2019. I'm not gonna do that since I'm already running the other one. I'm already currently installing that one. You can right click on a virtual machine as well. And then we have some options here. I'm just gonna turn this one off and then I'll bring back up the other one. We'll create a password here. And this is my already running virtual machine. And then we also get a display size setting here. And I typically just do this all the way to full screen. All right, now once we're connected into the virtual machine, we'll be prompted on Windows Server to enter our admin password. And then at the top, I have a few settings. I can minimize this window down so I can kind of move it around the screen. And by default, it's pulling up the server manager. I could also just as easily close this, but it's still running. Again, we're gonna wanna shut those off when we're not using it, so turn off. And that pretty much sums up a kind of quick overview of Hyper-V, kind of what you can do with it and how you can use it. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, be sure to check out Indigo Software if you're interested in picking up Office or other Microsoft software at a great price. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.